He's all green and crap. Ow! 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 Freaking Ampil! Ow! He's teleporting an Ampil on me! Jesus Christ! What? Since when do they do that? Oh, come on! Holy hell! Hi! Oh, Jesus Christ, the thing blew up! What is up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. So, last episode, we left off on what I said was a cliffhanger, but it really isn't. Uh, there wasn't anything happening. We just kind of came over to the Deep Grand Reef and was experiencing all kinds of hell uh, just to get these bad boys. These little guys right here, the Deep Shrooms, because we need them to make an item that is used in the recipe for making the shield generator for the Cyclops. You follow me? So now that we have that, I'll probably pick up a few more, but now that we have that, we're gonna head back to the pro boater. We gotta get this thing up and running so we can go down to where we need to go to advance this story. Hello there. I haven't actually, Jesus Christ. I haven't missed you guys at all. Anyway, welcome back. If you guys are still enjoying Subnautica, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. What the hell is that? Oh, wait, I need this. I'm pretty stoked. Let me get to make this guy. Have we not been here? Is this new? This must be new. It is new. Oh, we already have the, the decoy. That's fine. More propulsion arm. Okay. Uh, I don't remember bypassing this, but you know what? Damn it. I'm going to get there's three warpers. Are you for real? Okay. I'm going to give me, <laughs> give me something. No, give me, give me, give me. Okay. I don't see him anywhere. Sorry, fish. <laughs> I didn't even take your life into consideration before I threw you to your doom. Oh, great. I'll have one working battery. That's fantastic. What are you? Uh, nuclear. I already have that. So this is a particularly interesting wreck. Where's the entrance to it? Can I even get into this one? It is a door, but I can't actually open it. This music is so dope. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hello. Uh, aha, there's a hole. And a laser cutter, of course. You'd imagine he'd be using this with two hands, but you know, my guy's a, my guy's a G. We don't need it. Uh, okay, more propulsion. Like you, you gave me enough out there. Ooh, a whole fragment for the exosuit? Dude, that's nutty. I'll take the titanium for that. I feel like that's a that's an achievement. I already have this too. Crap. Why can't you give me something new, game? Come on, man. Oh, hey. PDA. Uh, charity is an archaic concept with the realism of today's Altarians are in uh, a training academy for those that need to be needed. <laughs> We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as a shut up. Uh, as a philanthropic uh, beneficence, beneficence facilit facilit facilitation service promoting synergy between employer and workforce. Okay, that's great. Yeah, it sounds like a freaking scam to me, dude. Bull okay, so I can go down this ladder. Actually, let me get the oxygen first, man. Okay, so down the ladder, and what do we got? A big mess of things, okay. Anything up here? Nope, just darkness. Hello. <laughs> Aw. Aw. That was no fun. Okay, let's head over to the pro boater once more. We gotta get this thing. Whoa, dude, you sound way louder inside of my ship. Sound normal, please. Sound normal. I command you to sound normal. I like uh, I like how the crab squids. I'm gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what sound to make. But I do love how the uh, crab squids, dude. Why has he not attacked? Oh God! Stop. Okay, yeah, I get it, dude. We get it. You're freaking babies. Awesome. Yeah. Ooh, girl. Oh, I can access them from here. Can I access their storage? <gasps> Son, I didn't even realize I had all this. Let's put the titan. Actually, you know what? Let's store all the stuff on here. Uh, because what I want to do also is bring my base materials with me, so I can set up a base closer to the deep where I need to be. It's very important I do this. So I'm going to have that full of titanium, that full of titanium, that full of titanium. Uh, this can be extra goods. And I can also bring a lot of the stuff and attach it to the walls of the Cyclops. So we're going to be good, dude. We are going to be good. Close that door, please. And let's begin. Move forward. Okay, where is this stupid ghost leviathan? I'm, I, I am hella not in the mood. All right. Okay. Just swimming along. This thing is so slow, dude. What in the hell? All right, guys. Well, I guess uh, I'll see you in a few years when I get back to the escape pod. Hooray. All right. Shield generation, let's go. 
Uh, yeah, you put that in there. Cool. Uh, so we have the efficiency module and now the shield generator, which is going to be super helpful. Now we just need, because we're going somewhere a little hot, we're going to need that uh, thermal thing. Or can I? No, I have to have the kyanite, like I said. Okay, so we got the depth module. The efficiency module, according to you guys, does not stack. The fire suppression system might be great as well. Two aerogel and a crystalline sulfur. Do I even have that? I don't think I have that. Oh no, I had to get those from the Lost River, didn't I? Any more messages for me? Oh, I'm lonely. So what I got to do now is uh, take all of this stuff and switch it on over because that's super fun and I love doing it. All right, so I know you guys love this base and all, but we got to get rid of it, okay? I'm going to move it to the new location that I think is going to be the best place for it because there's going to be a lot of heat and we can have an awesome base to go to. I kind of want to settle. I want to go deep. I want to outdo the Degassi. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Ah, uh, it's so sad to see. This entire base has just been emptied out. You've done your job. You've done your job, water filtration machine, but it's time for you to go. And unfortunately, I can't get this on my Cyclops, so that's going to be the bad thing. But I of course, when I establish my base, this won't be a problem. Good old solar panels. It's too bad it, it wasn't like it used to be. If you guys remember, we used to be able to put solar panels on the Cyclops, which was pretty amazing. Oh, crap. Okay, we got this, and then, oh, yeah, we have to move the plants. I totally forgot about the plants. All right, so I now have all the seed clusters. Holy crap, that's a lot. Uh, and then I guess I can just deconstruct this. There we go. And then deconstruct the foundation. Holy crap, the base is completely gone. But I'm happy. Okay, so let's head back to the Cyclops. Build this place up, dude. It's gonna look sick. We are going to need uh, maybe the radio, but certainly the fabricator. Radio right here. Whatever. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. The most important thing is this. Because this is my boat. This is my boat. Also, if you guys want to potentially win uh, a copy of the IGP hull plate, uh, head on over to the uh, IG Paradise Discord server. We might be holding giveaways for those kind of frequently. Don't Please don't be uh, encouraged to purchase them. Uh, I have a lot of copies of them, and I could potentially get more. Don't waste your money. It's not that important, and you could potentially win one anyway. So head on over there. Link is down in the description below. All right, what else was important uh, that I had? The battery charger for sure. Honestly, ooh, yeah, you know what? It'd be really cool to set them up here. The idea I had was lab counters down here. You know, just make it look all fancy and whatnot. Yeah. Lab counter, which I can put a Markiplier doll if I want, but not right now. But I can put uh, the fancy looking lab equipment on here. Wait, I can't put this anywhere? Wait, is that a joke? Because I could put the Markiplier doll anywhere. What's going on here? Well, I guess I can't. That whole idea goes straight out the window. Son of a bitch. Well, I can't put the lab stuff down, so I'm just going to move this over. Still going to keep it here, but I'm going to put the modification station. Actually, let me put it opposite side here. There we go. Modification station. Ooh, this looks so good. This looks so good. Here we go. I, c I can live with this. I can live with my bed being right there. Just get up, start piloting, dude. Ooh, around here we can have our nice little vending machine, too. And on the other side, our coffee, in case we get thirsty. All right, so the interior grow bed should ideally be just in the center here. There we go. Now that's all full. Sweet. I almost don't need an aquarium. It's not necessary at all. Well, I took the uh, computer chip out of the modification station and made this. So the medical kit fabricator will be here. I could put two of them. As they get made, I could just store them in here. That's the idea. But I just realized that I had the resources for another computer chip, so that's fine. And that actually sets me where I have everything put away and organized. And I think my marble melons, they are done. Yay! So now I just eat and replace. Uh, I think I took way too many. There we go. And I still have a bunch extra, so I will store them uh, right here. I think I think that's everything, to be honest. I think that's everything. We got our storage, we got our chargers, we got the modification station. We even now have medical kit fabricator. Yeah, honestly, that is pretty much it. All right, an hour and a half in, and now we can finally do something fun. For you guys, it's only been like eight minutes, but it's been about an hour and a half for me, so... You guys are lucky. I love you so much. All right. We are going back to the deep Grand Reef into the blood kelp and then go. Ooh, you know what? There's the blood kelp by the underwater islands, right? We could go through there, which leads us to the top of the Lost River. Ah, oh, yes. And since I have everything with me, that means I have the orange tablet, 
Uh, and I can go into that. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, we're going that way. And there's the shield. Look at that. <laughs> Boy, I'm excited. Okay, so the underwater islands are over back behind us towards the mountain. Venture forth with your pound IGP as we travel across the open land of hell and, and we put an end to this misery of ours and actually do something to get our asses off this planet. Aha! I found it. Uh, that means that there's probably the ghost leviathan somewhere. I- oof, sorry dude. Uh, hello? Ghost? Oh my god, those lights suck. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Holy crap, it's right there. Alright, so that means that the entrance should be somewhere down here. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably get out and look around, aren't I? Wow, look at these warpers, dude. Jesus Christ. Wow, I have the potential to run into everything, apparently. Ow! 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 <gasps> Whoa, is the ghost the infected? Why does it look like he's infected? Alright, let's quickly get out and see if we can find the entrance to this place. <gasps> oh, hey! Look, dude. We got, uh... We got the deep shrooms. I'll take a bunch of these. Oh, and quartz. I could use that. Wow, there is a lot of quartz around here. Whew. Jesus, dude. All right, so I think uh, I think it's this way. <laughs> oh, I don't have I don't have a freaking battery. Uh, take the scanner out, uh, and then uh, take this. Uh, is it still okay? There we go. Hello. I know your goal is to kill me and all, but please let me live. Uh oh, too close. Too close. All right, I honestly think it's probably down here. Just saying. Uh, oh yeah. Dude, he's super infected. He's all green and crap. Ow! 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 Freaking ampule! Ow! He's teleporting an ampule on me! Jesus Christ! What? Since when do they do that? Oh, come on! God dang it. Shield. Shield up. I know it's gonna take a lot of my, uh, power, but I'm willing to sacrifice that to not get destroyed. Oh my goodness. Alright, I don't even know if this is the right direction. Okay, it looks- it looks right. That's an opening. That's perfect. Look, I'm very sorry if I blew your ears out with that one. Oh my goodness, okay. We're fine. Holy crap, 37. Yep, this is Lost River. Perfect! Oh, but that- wait, wait, that means there's another ghost. They probably- they already know I'm here. But whatever. Hostile creature is leaving. That's good. Okay. We are relatively safe now. Uh, we basically got to go down here and then turn around. And that's the next biome we need to go to. Uh, but right now, I, I want to head back towards the beginning of the Lost River. Now, to do this efficiently, I might need to abandon my Cyclops. Now, I know that sounds crazy. But it might be the best choice. But ideally, I would do it where there are not any spine eels or... You know, ghost leviathans. Let's just go up to these bones and park. Turn that stupid engine off and let's get, uh, oh yeah, let's put some of this. Oh, goodness. Uh, uh, I need to repair for. <laughs> I'm still getting hit by stuff. Stop it. Who's hitting me? Thank you, welder, for being amazing and super fast. Okay, now we're good. Perfect. Um, health kit. Right. Take that one. Eat it. Alright, so we're good and parked. Let's turn off the lights. Just to save, uh, energy, I guess. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Orange tablet, I'll take with me. Wait. It might also be purple. Let me take both. <laughs> Alright, we're venturing out. Please stop hitting my, uh, my Cyclops. I may... I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it, definitely. And there's places to breathe there, I hope. There should be. I might- <laughs> I'm making a huge mistake, aren't I? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, so why is this one orange? Are, is that normal? This one is orange. The one in the blood kelp was green. Uh, here's our old friend. The other one should be gone, right? The crab squid? Yeah, because I destroyed that dude. Holy crap, the frame rate. Sorry. All right, let's see. It is orange tablet. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, no, I still have to, uh, holy crap, I gotta scan these. Alien bone specimen case. Ha ha! Uh, these fossils likely came from an ancient, uh, from the ancient ancestors of leviathans 
which inhabit the planet today. The relative size and delicacy of the bones suggest they formed part of the ear canal or some other complex internal structure. Yeah, that's freaking huge. And we got uh, the flora specimen. Very good. Uh, local plants being held in stasis. Uh, the aliens evidently sought an extensive knowledge of the planet's ecosystem, which would have been necessary to support any live specimen research. Examination stuff. Oh, hey! Another cute fish. Cuttlefish. God dang it. Uh, a large laboratory table and accompanying scanners and corporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding. Hypothesis. Equipment maintenance, staff maintenance, specimen. Uh, now, I just realized I'm going to die. Holy crap. This is not good. I should have just brought the sea moth. I should have just brought the sea moth. I honestly don't think I picked up anything that important. So if I die and I go back, it's fine. But see, this would be literally the end of the game if I was on hardcore. Oh yeah, there's no freaking way I'm getting getting back. That is not happening. Well, I might as well challenge the ghost leviathan. <laughs> hey buddy, what is, oh my goodness, you are beautiful. Whoa, Jesus Christ, dude. Seriously? Take that, dude. Take it. Take it. Nope. Ooh. That's actually kind of scary. I didn't lose anything, right? I had all the same stuff. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I got the oh, wait. I picked up the creature egg. Woo! I could have lost that. That would not have been good. Okay, get into the Cyclops, please. Or the Seamoth, whatever the hell you are. There we go. Now let's go back. Sorry about that. Uh-oh. Whoa! Whoa. What? Where the hell is it? Stop freaking me out! All right. <laughs> this is what I should have done from the beginning. Uh, yeah. Hypothesis, equipment maintenance, staff maintenance, specimen analysis, and specimen gene manipulation. Okay, so we get some free, uh, free power. Some ion coops. And then we get the data download. Fauna reproductive data. Now this is kind of important to understand the ecosystem, specifically the fauna. Extensive alien research data on the local fauna with a special focus on their reproductive methods. Core conclusions have been synthesized. The aliens discovered the life forms on the planet have just one sex. They observed local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction. All healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually require genetic material from another of the species. Uh, in rare cases, only one parent was required with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. That really does say a lot, and damn those Reginald for not reproducing. It doesn't matter what, uh, what sex you are, Y'all need to be making some babies. I don't care what kind of water you need to be in either. It's not a different type of water. You need to make babies. All right. Well, let's head over to our pro boater. Dodge this guy as easily as we can. He's going to see me. He's going to... Oh, boy. I just made a bunch of noise. Nope. Is that me? Is that me? May or may not be? Kind of? Yes? Yes? No? No. Back up! Back up! Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Stop. Stop it. Holy crap, it is dark. Please turn on the interior lights, please. <sighs> we should be able to make it. We are going to have to prioritize making this uh, thermal generator or whatever the module is called where I can recycle heat from the outside and apply it to my Cyclops, because if I don't have that, man... Oh, yeah, we're gonna pass by the Sea Dragon and the Cove Tree. Whoa, look at all these ghost rays. <laughs> They're, like, waiting for their relatives of sorts, the Ghost Leviathans. All right, so this path is gonna lead down to the next biome, and, uh, it's gonna get hot. It's gonna get real hot. Holy crap, this is beautiful. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this segment right here. guys. All right. Now they are going to be trouble. It's most certainly going to be trouble. Now these, uh, these larvae will attach to my ship and drain it of its power because it likes to feed on that. It's not harmful, 
Uh, as in a sense that it won't hurt me, but it will certainly take a lot from my my ship, and I can't afford that. Uh, what, I can't tell where we're at. This does not look good, though. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Alright, oh, yep, there's the lava. Okay, so there's gotta be some kyanite somewhere around here. It's usually by lava. There's a hole down here. Hello. Are you, uh, important? Anything down there? You know what? Let's go look. Let's go look. You know what I could do? I could always just take out the power cells before the lava larvae attach themselves. Oh, it's probably gonna be really hot. Yep. Ooh, I forgot about that. What are you? What are you? Diamond? Diamond. It's getting way too hot. Jesus. So I'm gonna need the, uh, a better suit at some point. You know, I don't exactly remember where the kyanite is. I remember it being by the lava, but I could be very mistaken. I don't know. Let's go a little bit, a little bit more into the biome first. Whoa, 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 buddy. Jesus. All right. Well, that means we need to make a better suit. Reinforced dive suit. Heavy synthetic fiber. Survival in extreme temperatures. Okay, so that's what I need. It's two titanium and two synthetic fibers. How do I make synthetic fibers? Fiber mesh and benzene. Benzene is three blood oil. Okay, so I gotta I gotta make a base somewhere. And play hey! Ah, oh, dang it. Hey, there's kyanite. Oh wait. Oh no! I have to have the exosuit to get the kyanite? Dude, that actually really sucks. Let's just set up a base down here. Let's just do that first. What would be a good area to do this? Yeah, something tells me I probably needed to have the exosuit already. I like this corner. I really like this corner right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop it. Oh, I could pick him up? Get out of here, dude. <laughs> I didn't know I could pick him up with that. All right, so let's do real quick, just a multi-purpose room and then a hatch to get inside. Oh God, no, get away. Stop it. Uh, and then I need, uh, quickly, I need uh, a thermal plant. Two magnets height and the aerogel. Okay, that's that's doable. Okay, uh, get back up, get back up. Actually, I don't think it matters where I put that specifically, um, because the heat down here is ridiculous no matter what. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, give me that power. <laughs> 250, dude. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And this is where we can actually charge a bunch of uh, power cells. We can also get a water filtration system in here. Be a good idea. I think I need that aerogel, yeah. Uh, oh wait, that's what I need to do right away. I need to do that right away. Get myself a foundation and get myself, hopefully this stuff doesn't go bad down here. Does heat mess up any of the plants like the gel sacks and whatnot? All right, I got my three grow beds here on a foundation. Now I can plant pretty much everything. One of them I can dedicate to the creep vine seed clusters. The other I can dedicate to gel sacks and of course blood oil is one. All right, so now I know I, I can do one, two, pick up, then plant, one, two, and then pick up, and there you go. Now we have them infinitely. And I just ate it by accident. Son of a bitch. All right, there we go. We got a bunch of, uh, we got six of these going for creep vine seed clusters and then a bunch of our gel sacks. Perfect. Oh, we're at zero power. I just realized that. Yeah, so let's get in our sea moth. <laughs> and I guess we'll... Oh, wait, 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 I can't. Wait, I totally forgot about that. No, come on. It's done. It's done. <laughs> it can't even load it back up, dude. Wow, okay, so I, I completely botched... Uh, oh my god, wait a second. No, the depth module. No! <laughs> oh god, this is great. I am so happy right now, dude. It's been like three hours of been playing this game. And I can't even tell you if I have enough content for an episode for you guys. Good lord. Okay, so I got my base established. That's nice. Uh, we got some water being made. Some plants are growing so we can do some more stuff. What I can do temporarily is charge some, uh, charge some power cells. And uh, try not to forget that I should not bring a freaking sea moth down here because it can't survive. All right, power cell charger. Wow, dude. Jesus, it's not even ta it's not even producing enough. Why is it not producing enough? It's 50 degrees Celsius. Let's get rid of this. 
There we go. Right on the lava. Just put right on the lava, dude. That's a ton of heat. Yeah, 70. Dude, now I just need a power uh, uh, a transmitter, which is gold and titanium. Okay, I can do that. Whoa, look at that, dude. Look at these guys. Get off. Get out of here. I'm going to hit you right into your friends. Get out. <laughs> That's right. Take that, Crimson Ray. All done? You want some too? Come here. Are right, you good? I'll kick your ass too. I gotta hurry, actually, because I don't have, uh, I don't have any oxygen being produced. I don't have any gold. No. What? No gold. I'm so dead. All right, I'm gonna have faith that there's gold somewhere around here. Yes. <laughs> what are the? I honestly didn't know that, so that's pretty cool. Yes. Power the base, and there we go. Cool. 70 degrees is much better. There we go. That's nice. That's real nice. Although I probably could use another one now. All I need is one gel sack, and I can make another. Yes, come on, please. Please be done. 91%. There we go. One, two, pick up. One, two, three. One, two, pick up. One, two, three. All right, there you go. Keep those growing, though. Uh, aerogel. Ah, oh, thank God. Right there. Oh, yeah. There we go. And you're also at 70. Yay! Yes! Okay, now I can put the power cell charger back, too. There we go. Positive energy being produced. Okay, so let's try to make ourselves a better suit. That would, that would help right now. Synthetic fibers, two diamonds and two titanium. Okay, so synthetic fibers is benzene in a fiber mesh. Fiber mesh is two creep vine samples, which I will get. Uh, benzene is what again? Three blood oil. Okay, so let me take a look at these plants, see how they're doing. 60% done and 60% done. Okay, so I guess we're just freaking waiting. All right, here we go. Now we got some stuff, so I'm gonna need to take you, you, I think a few of you, right? And now how do I get the, oh, growing blood vine. Do I get the seed? Oh, I do get them from you. Now those just replenish over time or how does that work? Oh, they do, okay, they do grow more. Perfect. So I need three of you. And if you got an extra one, I'll take it and I can start planting you guys. All right, let's see. We need, yeah, the benzene. I do have the fiber mesh. And now it needs to be synthetic fibers. All right. Here we go. Perfect. All right, so we got to put these on. Take this off. Uh, reinforced dive suit. And then reinforced gloves. Yay. Now I shouldn't, shouldn't be taking damage. Or if I am, it's very little. Nope. <laughs> so I'm gonna replenish my health real quick and then we're gonna take a quick look inside of this biome just a little further I'm gonna save first because it's gonna get kind of dangerous here so the power cells are currently charging at the last two so I'll have a full pro boater when I'm done here but I'm gonna take this moment to start scanning some stuff come back come back uh, okay Crimson Ray, one of the largest rays on the planet displaying generally docile behavior. Thick scaling, scales formed on the skin protect this ray from extreme temperatures, allowing it to survive in areas unpopulated by competing scavengers. Uh, forward mounting eye sockets suggest a predatory evolutionary history left behind long ago. It is inedible. I need to recharge my oxygen. I just realized, hey buddy, he's actually kind of cute. I'm gonna try to pick up as many resources as I can as well. Oh my God. Now, I know I can't stand the extreme heat, but yeah, like right there, I can't for sure. And you are a lava lizard, right? Come here. No, stop it. Oh God. Oh boy. Whoa. I'm too quick for you, man. I can't actually read you. I don't have, uh, I don't have the time. We got to get inside of this thing. This beautiful place. This is the lava castle. Okay, I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. The beast of all beasts. Uh, I gotta find the entrance. Oh, my God. There's freaking two of them within the vicinity. That's ridiculous, dude. Get down. And the freaking warpers, too. Hi. Yes, you're pretty. You're very pretty. Stay away, please. All right, where's the entrance? Come on, man. I'm running out of oxygen. Tell me where you are. Seriously, where the hell is this thing? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. I gotta rush this. I got 84 seconds left. I do know I can breathe in here, guys. That's the only reason why I'm, I'm bucking it. I know I can breathe once I... 
which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years <gasps> ago. Free freaking kyanite! I didn't know there was actually free kyanite! Dude, that's amazing! Oh, <laughs> this is so good. I'm extremely happy. We can actually make the, the thing now. We gotta go, though. We gotta go. Hello! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Where's the entrance? Come on! Yes! <sighs> uh. Breathe, my friends! Breathe! Oh, hello! No, 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 no. I just want to scan you. Stop chasing me. Alien robot. <laughs> this device at alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Uh, its low threat level it is at odds with its advanced technology, apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Uh, despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow it to traverse floors, walls, and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are few moving parts rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion-based power reserve ensure it continues to operate, immobilize, and return to Altera for mutual profit. Oh, okay. I don't want to bother these guys, though. They seem pretty innocent. Oh, <gasps> where's my purple artifact? Dang it. Dang it. Oh, yes. And the ion cube go in here and activate a teleporter. Perfect. I forgot there was two entrances to this place. <laughs> All right, so we are in the thermal generator, or the thermal plant. This is the plant of the precursors that powers everything, including the warpers. So we're going down to its base right now. Ah, oh, perfect. We can activate that teleporter. What do you got? Fossil data. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. Uh, it has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far on 4546B. Extinction event. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event, killing off a majority of species and forcing rapid adaptation amongst many of the survivors. Holy hell. Oh, I need another ta I do need the tablet, man. I gotta make two of them. We gotta go back. But at the same time, I got the kyanite, so we can definitely do something with that. Let me activate this teleporter real quick. Oh, yeah. Bring it live! All right, we're not going in that yet, because I actually have no idea where it goes. Kyanite. Kyanite. Holy crap, there's a lot of kyanite down here. Oh, yeah, dude. An infinite amount. I'm so glad I don't have to go back and build the exosuit. I mean, I will eventually. I have to do it for the, for the final part of the game. But uh, not right now. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm leaving. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Leviathan's skeletal remains. Now, we know which one this is. Good old Reaper. A Reaper Leviathan skeleton. Reapers are uh, ill-suited to high-temperature environments, suggesting this creature was forced down into the active lava zone by conditions outside its control. Trace muscle tissue remains on the bones, indicating the specimen died in recent months. Oh. Oh, no. Yep. Jesus Christ, the thing blew up. All right, dude, he's a freaking madman. How do I get out of here? No, 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 no. Oh my God, he lost me. I'm gone, dude. Gee, what is that? What is this? Titan. Okay, I'll take, sure, I'll take titanium. Nickel, okay, I don't have, I didn't have nickel before. Whew. All right, what else did it say? Uh, this was uh, recent months, burns and other physical damage to the skeletal structure likely became prey for something bigger. Obviously, the sea dragon, whoa. Whoa, was that from him? My dude, chill out. All right, so we need to, uh, let's get some oxygen. These are all done, so I'll take them on my person. My goodness, guys, this is a very long episode, and I apologize, but I want to make sure you guys get something out of it. I want to make sure stuff happens, you know what I mean? So I'll play as long as I need to. Okay, so four kyanite, a wiring kit, and two polyanlene. Deep shrooms, uh, did I get six? And salt deposits, did I get six of those? I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two salt deposits, two hydrochloric acid, and that would be two gold. There we go. Okay, so now we got two of them. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, a wiring kit. I think I have that in here. Yes. 
sick. <laughs> oh, so excited. All right, I got to put this in here. Now, this should uh, convert environmental heat energy into electrical power for use by the Cyclops. Okay, so that should end up charging all of them. I may not be close enough. Oh, crap. That might be why. <laughs> Turn on the shield. Was Oh, yes, dude. That's perfect. All right, let's get closer. Down to the heat. Yep, it's going up. <laughs> Alright, so we'll charge. We're good to go now, dude. We have everything. Alright, so I need to make uh, some tablets, though. I need to do that for sure. That is... Uh, good lord, where would that be? Here we go. Purple tablet would be two diamond and an ion cube. Okay. Alright, and the other one, yes, right here. Okay, so now I can go back and do both. So I'm just gonna set down right here. Yep, it's going up to 89, so I'm gonna turn it off here. Wow, it's actually still going up, even with all these lava larvae on there. I'm not even worrying about it now, dude. It's perfect. All right, back to our lovely lava castle. We have a lot of information in there. We still gotta get. Oh God, oh God, oh God. No, 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 no. Don't worry, dude, I'm not here. Not here, not here, not here. Take another kyanite. I don't think I need it for anything else, but I'll still grab it. Holy crap. I haven't, haven't gave a good look at this in a long time. Forgot there was even that bottom part. Do you guys remember? For those who were like into the early days of development, do you guys remember when this wasn't in here? It was just an empty den and a lot of us didn't even know what the hell it was for. It's crazy, right? All right, so let's go into this one first. Goodbye. This is a nice looking one. Let's scan it first. Blue tablet. Smooth and cold with a blue light which illuminates an alien symbol resembling an uppercase H. While it is likely these devices served in part as security clearance for whoever constructed them, their size suggests some additional purpose such as personal computers. Whatever the case, the technology is far beyond humanity's own. I mean, we have tablets smaller than that. Oh, crap. To me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was actually waiting for it to happen. It scared the hell out of me. Woo! Okay, so that was, uh, that was our friend calling to us again. As we can all guess, uh, we need to go a little bit deeper to find our friend, our beautiful lady friend, whom I feel like I have a connection with already. It's kind of weird. All right! In the big electrical room. Let's go! We get to scan this, right? Yeah. This looks super dangerous. That's fine. The alien thermal plant. This system is directly converting local thermal energy into electrical current at 90% efficiency. Most of this energy is being stored in the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough power or enough to power a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it is distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and, given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. Primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. All right, so the primary containment facility. A power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on sites to other facilities on the planet. Primary containment facility location updated. Constructed with a natural chasm connected to this cave network. Uh, south southeast area of volcanic activity depth 1.4 kilometers. Uh, power distribution. Self-warping quarantine enforcement units 5%. Arc network 10%. Sanctuaries Alpha, Beta, and Kappa 10%. Quarantine enforcement platform 35%. Disease Research Facility Offline. Primary Containment Facility 20% and Reserve is 20%. There's no clear way to interrupt the power flow. So, if you thought that we could turn off the gun or the Quarantine Enforcement Platform by destroying this, you're mistaken. I mean, I probably could do some damage if I just run at it. I mean, this has got to hurt me or something. Ooh, the floor is lining up again. I love it. It's amazing. All right. Ion power data. Yes. Ion power blueprints for alien data. 
blueprints stored to data bank. Oh, I'm so excited now. So the ion power data, it has been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube in an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using the knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. So now we can build better batteries and better power cells that will last much, much, much longer. So we made it to the alien thermal plant, the, the precursor base that powers everything that we've seen so far. And uh, we've unlocked some new blueprints and we also got contacted again by our lovely lady who wants us to go just a little bit deeper and meet her. I hope you are filled with much mystery. I hope this entices you to want to see some more because I am going to cut it here on yet another of what I call a cliffhanger. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below all your tips and suggestions. It's always appreciated. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one.